Uh, this patient has a uh, venous insufficiency of the right short saphenous vein. The right short saphenous vein starts at the lateral side of the calf and normally brings the blood up the leg and turns into a deep vein. Now she also had a great saphenous vein insufficiency which we have treated and as you can see on the back of her leg, she has a couple of sources of reflux, one from a posterior thigh perforator that's coming this way. She had a branch from that great saphenous that's coming this way. And if you look really close, you can see underneath the skin she's laying down now, so it's flattened down. So we're going to treat her great saphenous vein with the laser from here to here, and we're going to inject these veins to uh, close the uh, proximal source of reflux. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little gel on her leg. Daniel's going to pass me our local, and we're going to give her just a little heads up, a little tiny pinch. Picatito, Picatito, and we have, this is the, a needle which is basically less uh, or smaller than a uh, blood, blood test. So on my screen here, I'm able to watch my needle. That's her short saphenous vein right there. We're gonna access it. The goal is to get in this vein, get reflux in our tube. You're good, eh? Good. Sometimes I can see it pretty well, sometimes I can't. I can see it there on our screen. So what Daniel's doing is she's just advancing a guide wire. And you'll see this go up the short saphenous vein. And go up the way. And we've pre-marked where we basically want to go to. So I'm going to advance that a little bit more. I'm going to take this out. And it's going to wipe off that little guide wire because our catheters are very, very small. I'm going to do a little more uh, local. And just a little tiny skin nick because our catheter is just a little bit larger than that wire. So this catheter is a Cook catheter. We found these different catheters. The smaller the catheter, the easy it is to treat. So this catheter has a little dilator. You can see a little cone here with my finger. And so it's got an inside cone and we'll pull that out. It's called a dilator here. So it's got a little point so that it can go through the tissue. So it's gonna go through the tissue here and then it's gonna go through her vein. And then we're going to glide this over the guide wire. And then we're gonna check the uh, proximal the proximal tip here. So the guide wire is this little kind of bright spot here. Let me see if I can turn this down and get a little better. So the guide wire is this little spot. And we're gonna see where my little catheter is here. If we've got it up here yet. Yeah, she's feeling okay, sorry. So probably went a little bit too far. So we'll pull out our dilator and we can see our catheter is right. Yeah, a little bit too far. So we'll pull it back a little tiny bit and we'll get a better view on it now that See, it goes right down there to the middle of the screen. So we pull it back just a little bit here. There we go. So that's our catheter. So we're going to take out the guts. So we take out this little guide wire. And then we're also going to take out the dilator, which was basically what I showed you. It's just this little tiny tip, and it has that little point on it there. So we're going to take that out, and that's going to give us a little smaller interior rid of that and we're going to insert our laser fiber through the tube and you'll actually see as I come up towards the end here you'll see a light right there that's what we call our aiming beam because the catheter has extended out of the tube so we're right about there which is good so the next step is to anesthetize around the vein. So to do that, we're going to numb the skin about four times. We'll let her know. Just a few locals. So, number one. Two. Three. 
And one last one here. A little four right behind her knee. Ay, there we go. I'll make the sound for her because sometimes my patients won't make the noise. So I'll do it for them so that they don't feel, you know, deprived. We're missing one yeah. right there. Yes. Yeah. So full, full hand, four aces. Four aces. Four aces. Looks like X's. Four X's. So what we're going to do now, this is what takes a long span of time, is we're actually going to pump a little bit of water all around the uh, short saphenous vein. <laughs> so we're just clearing out some bubbles. This is our tumescent that you see hanging on the wall here. This is a mix of lactated ringers, bicarbonate, xylo. Okay. okay. You want that pedal, don't you, Daniel? I don't see it. She's like pushing my foot away. She can do it for you. Yeah, she's like. <laughs> so our next step here is we're going to just pump a little bit of water around this vein. So she might feel a little stretching. And we can see this on the screen. You can see that little black circle in the middle of the screen there. It seems like it's getting bigger and bigger. And that's basically the water that's flowing around the vein. Vein's in a, it's, be, it's between two uh, layers of all the saphenous compartment. And if you could, so we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna increase our gain slightly so you get a little better. So her vein is directly at the top at 12 o'clock. So it's that little spot right, right there. So you can see what's nice is that this uh, tumescent will creep around or kind of infiltrate around the vein there. So the goal is to get everything nice and numbed up so that she will not feel anything at all when we do this procedure. Now the goal of this is to close this vein in which the valves are not functioning. The valves are letting the blood pool backwards down this vein. So the pressure builds up around the ankle. The patients have ankle swelling, heavy aching legs. They don't like standing in lines. They have a job, unfortunately, where they're standing a lot. Just, you know, their legs are just uncomfortable all day long. They're kind of moving around. They want to sit down, stand up, move. So this will resolve this issue. So her calf is going to look a little swollen here, but that's just, it's just our tumescent. So what I'd like to do today, I'd like to uh, do her laser procedure, then I'd like to inject these little sources on her calf, on the back of her thigh. If our team here is uh, on board with me. Sometimes I have to negotiate. <laughs> Negotiate with them because they're used to uh, they're, they're used to the burger place in and out. So sometimes with our patients, they're like boom, 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 in and out. They've got the they've got everything down. They've done this hundreds of times. Okay, so basically what we've done is we've numbed everything up, so we're going to go back down. We're actually going to do our procedure. The last part here. So I hope Nancy knows there's a zoom on that. Did I ever show you how to use it, Nancy? I have a phone. If you put your finger on it, it just, you can. Oh, you have an iPhone? No, but I've had a phone. Right, but the, the, the Apple Zoom is not like oranges that you have on your Android. Orange. Oh my god, he's so funny, Dr. Sells, isn't he? Yeah. So let's put our let's put our Hilarious. If you want to cut, you can cut Nancy if you wanna to... try to be skillful. Okay. So Nancy's doing everything here. I'm making her produce this this documentary. I'm making her I'm film. Really for. I'm making her give us give us our glasses. So here, 
if you want to give me those underneath here, I can no. put them on like this. Oh. I'm just going to put them on okay. you. Okay. Good. We're ready to go. So we're going to let our patient know that we're going to turn on the laser. It's going to be heating up. And then we're going to start our procedure. I'm going to grab just a little bit of uh, uh, just need your skin marker. Okay, we're just going to measure how much is in and how much is out. Eight out. And I'm going to take a little bit of stair strip off the back for eight out of 30. We're going to mark where we're at, and then we're going to Laser start angle. a procedure. Okay. So what we tell our patients at this moment is that they normally shouldn't feel any pain, but we're going to do a little test just to make sure they're nice and numbed up. Feel anything there? No. Oh. Basically, I'm going to actually do our procedure now, which consists of just bringing this laser fiber. What? back down so you can see her aiming beam that's coming down because she's fairly slim. And we're applying a certain amount of thermal energy per centimeter. Two. So Daniel is counting off the amount of joules. That's actually 200. We just abbreviate down to two. And we give between 50 to 100 joules per centimeter, maybe 75 is an average, depending on the size of the vein. Sometimes the patients will get a little taste in their mouth like broccoli. So you see basically five. There are some lasers that have a little automated pullback. It's normally 0 0.2 millimeters per second. Six. That comes out to about one centimeter per There are some uh, nerves in the back of the calf down around this area, so you have to be careful about how far down you go so that you don't create a little nerve injury, which could cause a little bit of pain and then make the patients uncomfortable for a while. So, again, okay. so I've got the primary part. When I get down here, I'm gonna go a little quicker because I don't want to get any nerve involvement, so we're going to... There was a little branch that came off right out here, so I want to make sure I got that. And then just up to this, it. we're just going to go pretty quick. So you're going to see our... Bring out our laser fiber right there. We check to make sure everything's intact, and that completes her laser procedure of the back of the leg. Ask if she had any pain or discomfort. We did not, we did not. No pain, no discomfort. So there's no stitches. Basically we put some steri strips on these access points. There's always a little drop of blood down here because the bottom of the vein contains a little bit of blood from the ankle, so. We milk that out a little bit. Sometimes you have to just apply a little bit of pressure for a, for a few seconds down here. And so, do I get to do some injections real quick? Do you have a little orange? No? No? Yeah. <laughs> They're so enthusiastic today with me. I'm going to turn it off. Okay.